the, the one thing I can say about art throughout bad relationships, bad jobs, my art has always been there. It's like a lover that has never left me. Uh, hi, I'm the artist Hines and I'm a full-time artist. I paint and draw for a living and actually teach art. I don't know how many people know. My name is actually legally one name only. I actually legally changed my name to one name. I was a very shy child um, when I was growing up and uh, I think that's why I drew all the time because I wasn't good at sports and I wasn't, I didn't have the, the ladies didn't like me and um, so I just drew all the time and I, beca I became popular because I was drawing all the time. Um, I, I grew up in New York City so as I got older I would make trips over to Manhattan and go to Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Frick Collection and, and all the galleries in Soho so I was totally immersed in art all the time so it just fed me. So I'm standing in front of one of my favorite paintings that I've done called The Resurrection of Beauty. The woman on the left represents classical beauty and the woman on the right represents contemporary beauty. And in the middle, she's painting classical beauty back to life. So there's a little bit of paint on her brush that she's getting ready to fill in um, this blank area right here uh, so that once she puts that last bit of paint on, classical beauty will rise again. I did this just to show everyone uh, the colors that I used to actually paint this entire painting. So that's titanium, white, cad, yellow, medium, naphthol, red, ultramarine blue, and um, I think it's Mars black. So I'm, I'm married and I have a, a nine-year-old son. And so my wife, when I met her, uh, she knew nothing about art. Now she knows my artwork very well. She also knows art history very well. And I can actually go to her and ask her questions sometimes about my own piece because she's become very uh, educated in art. The thing about family life also, and I think it's very important for artists, uh, we need the support of the people that are around us. So you're lucky if you have if you're in a relationship with somebody, a wife, girlfriend, who is supportive with your arts because it's a, it's a very personal um, thing that you're doing and it's very time consuming. So whoever you're in a relationship has to kind of understand that and be supportive of it. Nothing inspires me more than being in a museum and see some uh, really great painter's work, whether it's the old master's work or a contemporary artist. I would go to museums and I would go up to like a Caravaggio or, or Rubens. And if you look close, if you get really close and the guards don't pull you away, you can actually see the underpaintings. You can see the layers and how they actually painted it. I have to say the other thing that inspires me are the materials. I love my materials. I love my brushes. I love my paints. I love the mediums that I use. Uh, I love picking out a really good canvas. Uh, those things really inspire me also. Why people just can't get along and love each other? That, that's, that would be the big question. Love is important in life, whether it's loving what you do or loving the people that are around you, loving the community that's around you. Love is really like the, the secret ingredient to, to happiness and to having a fulfilling life. Yeah, that would be a big one. <laughs>